Hello everybody, it is Blocket James. What many of you might not know, I'm actually quite an okay coder. So when I heard about the Rice Farmer 11 bot, I was quite interested in it. To start off with, I'm going to make some very simple improvements, such as start.txt. We're going to make it log on the startup, subscribe to Blocket James. Now it appears that this log function just logs text into the thing and you can see execute there, it executes one of these text files so we can see down here command.txt and here what this does is it's actually like posting something to the chat like a command or whatever so we could change this to anything we want so if we say like um, hello and we save that now here we're going to be logging into our own private server here you can see here it's just said subscribe to block it james and then it just said hello like, we didn't type anything there. So, if you really hate this bot, I found out a few things that you can do. So, if you want to mess it up in-game, do slash shout. Remember, this is only compatible with fours bedrooms for the main part. Do slash shout, protect, with a capital P, your bed. And then what this will do, if we just, like, paste protect your bed into chat, is it will make the bot think that the game has started, because that's the only way of the bot texting the game has started, so, so it will just start walking into the generator. And this is now generate new generator position, which is funny. You can see here it's actually trying to move. Now you can see right here it's looking at middle. That's what it's trying to do at the moment. It's running looking at middle script. So let's just say one about a minute. Let's see what we can do with this. So, in this file right here, we have the on chat events, uh, which is actually quite a big file. In fact, it's 564 lines long. So, for example, you are spawned in limbo. If for some reason the bot goes into limbo, it'll just echo slash lobby. So, it'll go back into the lobby, and then after that, it'll do start.txt, starting the bot again. And then that will mean it will requeue. And then disconnect to code in your location. Kind of the same thing. If you know what I mean. And then if you will be AFK, then it will do some stuff to wake it up, like key down forward and key up. So for about 0.5 seconds it will move forward just to stop going AFK. So yeah, we've got a bunch of events. Um oh <laughs> oh my god, look at that. So in um here you can see in line 391 if it finds an admin in the chat then it will immediately like stop everything and then it will requeue that's pretty funny a mod helper <laughs> these ranks don't even exist on hyfixel anymore I'll, I'll, I'll just fix that for you rice real quick hold on one second and then here we've got screenshot.txt which if you watch the video you can see a lot of screenshots of sunzy winning and um, basically what screenshot.txt does is it just presses F2. So what we could do now is in start.txt, because that always happens at the start, we could make it execute screenshot.txt and then just do screenshot. And then if we just save that and we leave and rejoin. Let's see, does it work? Yep, look at that, I just took a screenshot. So now we have that screenshot right there. So you can see it went into F5 mode as well, so it could take the screenshot. Using this little script here it would be pretty easy just to make a sumo bot, or any other bot on Hypixel for that matter. You, like, I mean, you can look at entities using this script. You can see the damage monster here. Uh, we can see here we've got an if statement, exit enemy, if, if yeah, if, if health is less than previous health, then that will mean that you're being attacked. So that means that it has to run enemy.txt and it has to end the if statement. So enemy.txt will say log script is already on, if script is already on, and then if it isn't on, then you have to do defense. So it will launch the defense script, so we, we're going through a lot of scripts here. And then you can see for some reason the identification here is terrible, but log uh, both walls detected enemy near, and then we stop the timer, and then it looks to the real, your, this is like, um, 
what it's looking at. So real yaw is probably some kind of rotation variable. Spawner, because it doesn't actually have PvP coded, because it wants to buy iron golems to defeat players. That's its only way of defeating it. And then once it does that, we've got like apple count, so we want to pick golden apple and then we want to eat it, I'm guessing. Maybe that's what it's trying to do here. So we can see here, if we just jump off a cliff now, it will take damage and it will detect that we took damage and then it will probably be tricked into thinking that there's an enemy, which I think is what happened earlier. So if we just jump off now, and in theory, yeah, detect his enemy near. Now, we're going to disable this bot. Now, once the script finishes, it just seems to take a screenshot by the looks of things, because it runs the start script again to, like, refresh once the enemy is gone and dealt with. So we're going to be implementing PvP. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing uh, defense.txt. Okay, we are in-game now. We're going to spawn a zombie. Oh, oh, it's, oh yeah, it's, it's day. I forgot about that. Okay, so we have this zombie here, and we're gonna go into survival. Attack me, bro. Oh, oh, it's, it's trying. It was trying. Now, if we go into survival, we'll see how it goes. Oh. Oh, 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 it's, it's, it, did you see that? I just attacked it. It just attacked it. It just, it's gonna... <laughs> <laughs> what is it doing? Oh, it's going for each entity, so it keeps looking at different entities, such as a creeper there. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. <laughs> okay, we need to make sure it's of type zombie. Oh, look at that, it's actually trying to fight it. Alright, so now it will only go after zombies. That's what I've coded it to do. So if we go into survival mode real quick, then hopefully the zombie will go after me when I walk down here. That's interesting. So it keeps, it seems to keep getting confused. Oh my god! Oh my god, he's, he's trying to style! Did you see that? That was crazy, bro. Okay, so a quick update. I have now implemented PvP, so I guess we'll see how this goes. Um, we're just gonna summon our zombie here. One second, there it is. And then we're gonna get a uh, wooden sword, I'd say. That'll be what um, it will be using. And then what we'll do is we'll go into survival. Yeah, look, it killed it! It killed it! <laughs> no way, bro, no way, bro. So now we're going to turn the CPS... Actually, we can't really turn the CPS up because this is new PvP because we're in 1.12. Oh, here we go. So low on health, it's so low on health. No! Hello? Okay, there we go. Oh, look at this. He's actually going crazy. He's going crazy, bro. Look at this. Oh, okay, come on. Look at this, bro. <laughs> no way, no way. It worked. It worked as well. So now we've got two of the same zombie, and now we're going to see how it reacts. It's actually doing a pretty good job, to be honest. Okay, so the problem really here is, is that, well... Oh, look at that, he's killing it. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? That was crazy. Okay, we've got two zombies. Let's see how this bot reacts. No! Alright, it's coming back for payback. I'm, I, I bet you. I bet you, bro. There it goes. There it goes. Yes! It got one. Yes, it did it! It got it. 
It got it. It finished. It finished the job. It finished the job. <laughs>